brilliant. Irrepressible Scott Tommy Tocherty once joked that he had more clubs than Jack Nicholas, and he wasn't wrong. He played for Celtic, Preston, Arsenal, and managed Chelsea, Rotherham, QPR twice, Aston Villa, Portuguese club of Porto, Hull, Scotland, Manchester United, Derby, Sydney Olympic in Australia, Preston, South Melbourne, Australia again, Wolves and Altrincham. Oh, and I almost forgot, he also managed the wife of the club physio at Manchester United. He was a great character who loved making people laugh. He was once told by a chairman that £100,000 wouldn't buy his centre forward, to which he replied, aye, and I'm one of those 100,000. of course talking about Franz Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer to his mates. He won the lot as a player and then won it all again as a manager. Though just for the record he was on the losing German side in the 1966 World Cup. He was probably the greatest defender of all time. <laughs> When it comes to true greatness, one player towers above them all. And no, I'm not talking about Peter Crouch. Edson Arantes do Nascimento, which is a bit of a mouthful, so why don't we just call him Pelly? This lad had the lot in shed loads. 
He had more skills in the toenail of his little toe than I have in all my toenails put together, including all their clippings have been over the years. He was a magician, a wizard. If he'd have been born in the Middle Ages, they'd have burnt him at the stake. But thankfully, he was born on the 23rd of October, 1940. And just 17 years later, he was playing in the World Cup final for Brazil. He mislaid his gloves before a game once and borrowed a pair from a policeman. Apparently, they fitted him like a glove. Anyway, Newcastle won that match, and from then, whenever keeping goalie, only ever wore policemen's white gloves, and they worked wonders. <laughs> Now that was a fight and it was meant to be a friendly for charity, well they certainly didn't show each other any.
brilliant. What can you say about Brian Clough? He was a one-off, truly unique. He could have given lessons in arrogance to Jose Mourinho, but he was a genius as well. Now, most people remember him as a great manager, but in his playing career for Sunderland and Middlesbrough, he scored an amazing 251 goals in 273 appearances. Sadly, injury reduced his England appearances to only two, but as a club manager, he pretty much won the lot. If it wasn't for the pig editors of the FA, he would have been the England manager, and then who knows what might have happened. In fact, he once commented on not getting the England job that I'm sure the England selectors thought if they took me on and gave me the job, I'd want to run the show. They were shrewd because that's exactly what I would have done.